Welcome back. On this video, we're going to address questions that come up around personal property. Sure. And personal property really triggers the biggest amount of emotions between yourself and your inner emotions and you being the referee or the one in charge of the estate. So now you're interfacing and impacted by everyone else's because there's so many memories around personal properties. What is personal property? <laughs> right. How do you differentiate what is, what is it? So take the house, turn it upside down, shake it. The things that are going to fall out is personal property. There right? you go. The yeah. house is, is real property, okay. right? There are some nuances to it <laughs> because right. you could have a big pallet of wood mm -hmm. sitting in uh, the yard and that is personal property. It's not real property. Anything that becomes affixed or attached or built. So you take that wood, you build a shed. Now that wood has become a shed and it's now right. become real property. Mm -hmm. It's no longer personal property. And so we've identified what is personal property mm -hmm. and now how do we address the personal property? Many families get along beautifully through mm -hmm. this process. And then there's some that it's not so beautiful. And one of the ways that they divvied up the personal property was they used stickies and um, they had a different color one for each family member. And they went around the home um, and put their sticker on, on something that they were truly interested in, in having. Did they, they take turns? Was it one by one? How did they do that? Um, they, no, they were all together at the same time, right. this particular family, mm -hmm. and they just went through that mm -hmm. way. And so that yeah. was a case where the family really got along very well. That's a well. beautiful way mm -hmm. to do it. it I've was. had the opposite. We all have where um, there were certain parties and heirs not always siblings that really couldn't be in the same room together. It was not wise. And as the personal representative, you are going to have to think about the best way to right. be fair about identifying how it gets distributed and how it gets addressed. One of the things that they did is the, um, the colored stickies, mm -hmm. but they, nobody knew what color, who had what color. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was really, really helpful because there was conflict. So there wasn't competition. So if there's one item that three people wanted, they didn't know who was vying for whatever. And there were options on how they could deal with the conflict. Like everybody wants one thing or a couple people do. Um, then they had other aspects. Uh, strategies on how to determine who that was. So then they had a numbering system with the colors. What were their top 10? Mm -hmm. You know, what were their first, mm -hmm. second, third choices? So some interesting things to think about there. Yeah, and families uh, going through this, uh, some of them have chose to uh, have 10 sentimental items mm -hmm. that they get to mm -hmm. um, address mm -hmm. as they, that they want and then 10 monetary as their top 10 choices. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. ironically, it's the sentimental items okay. that are yeah, often absolutely. harder because again, people, I mean, you told us about one of your clients who the chair, I mean, wanting dad's chair was, I mean, it wasn't matter what it's worth. To them, it was priceless. Because right. dad sat in there right. all the time and read the paper right. and the grandkids mm -hmm. were on his lap. Right. Yeah. right. So again, we go back to don't be surprised when some of those, mm -hmm. there's such deep, deep meaning mm -hmm. connected to certain personal items. And I, and I had a family once where a brother and sister would say, you know, sometimes that there's jewelry. Well, oftentimes the male, if they don't, they're not married or have women, they don't really need the jewelry or want the jewelry. Right. So, so they would say, okay, well, they would look at like monopoly money and say, okay, well the value, right? So it's like, okay, well this is worth a thousand dollars. So now you pick a thousand dollars worth of stuff. And so it was fair in the monetary sense. So I had a brother and sister that were very good about looking at what, how that split up and, and that it was equitable, mm -hmm. but it wasn't, numerically the same, right? right? It wasn't like a one for one because right. what was there didn't necessarily make a difference. Mm -hmm. So they when they live outside of the area, it's real helpful to take either videos or pictures right. so that um, those can, you know, that can be displayed maybe on a Zoom call mm -hmm. or somehow. Mm -hmm. So again, taking us back to having communication with the beneficiaries mm -hmm. kind of reduces those fears and feelings of left out. Um, or, or not getting fair share feelings right. to mm -hmm. be alleviated. That's a really important suggestion and, and, and a tip mm -hmm. is right. taking video and photos of all 
the mm -hmm. personal belongings because mm -hmm. we've talked about mm -hmm. protecting you protecting the estate mm -hmm. and that's probably the it, personal property is definitely the one that has the yes. most contention mm -hmm. around it because uh, yeah. folks think well where's this or that mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. didn't mom have this piece of jewelry like i know that mm -hmm. my mom she there was a theft and a lot of her jewelry was stolen mm -hmm. um so if you as you go through and make an inventory mm -hmm. of of your items mm -hmm. super helpful mm -hmm. to right. take photos of every drawer every closet video mm -hmm. as you're doing it mm -hmm. it protects you it protects the estate mm -hmm. and it just, helps I, with your inventory of personal property right, right? like yeah. we've actually you know created a an easy inventory collector as just one aspect to help in that process because it is also probably the most tedious. I mean, right. we were we were talking about, you know, again, recently being in a hurricane and it's the same kind of thing. You're going to leave your house and you've got to be able to say everything that was in it. And most of us don't even know what was in it. I mean, right. we've got so much stuff. And so really that pictures, that video mm -hmm. is a great way to get a, an accurate you know, and then it gives you time to look through and people be, oh, I forgot about this or I forgot about that. Right. So mm -hmm. that's a really great tip. So here's some other options. Um, much of the time there's photos, personal photos, and those photos don't need to be divided up with today's technology. They can simply so be right. copied or scanned. Everybody, Everybody gets yeah, the yeah. same thing. Sometimes things can be sold and this the, the proceeds can be divided equally. Oftentimes somebody wants the house Mm -hmm. but maybe they can't afford it. They'd really like it, but they can't work it out or they can't agree. Mm -hmm. And that's a good example of why it gets sold and then it's divided equally. Or somebody might actually want the house mm -hmm. and somebody else doesn't want the house. Right. And yeah. then they'll say, okay, that's worth X amount of dollars. We'll deduct that from the proceeds at the end of the probate. When the and then having a, your probate attorney will be the guide to let you know how you have to handle yes. all mm -hmm. of this, especially mm -hmm. if there's a situation mm -hmm. where people aren't getting along with things. And so we also have another video that will tell you what to do once the personal property has been distributed to the family members, mm -hmm. and then you have what's left. So there's options on sure. how you handle that, because yeah. this is one of the most stressful things that a personal representative has to manage is the personal property. Other options. We've talked about the different color stickies, the 10 sentimental, 10 monetary. Another one is birth order. Real simple. Mm -hmm. The oldest gets to go first and you go in around Robin. You or the youngest. Or the right youngest. You just pick. <laughs> <laughs> or you can pick Flip it out of a hat. Oh, pick it out of a hat. Shell, what we are serving up here is options mm -hmm. from experiences mm -hmm. and coming back to you're not alone. Yes. So on your team, as Kim mentioned, your attorney will talk to you about needing to do this, the timeline for doing this, and how this segues into the next step mm -hmm. of taking care of what's left. So over. you mentioned so, your hurricane experience you recently, mm -hmm. really was in a hurricane. And we talked about the emotion uh, associated with things and the surprise about how people might behave and how they might be triggered. It was, you know, people that know me will typically say that I am very, you know, the person you want in a crisis. I mean, calm, level, get things done. The kind of person that gets picked to be the personal representative <laughs> oftentimes. And going through this hurricane where uh, we were actually rescued from, a, from the surge, I was unprepared after to feel the range of emotions yeah. where the simplest hassle would just bring up frustration or emotions like I would cry, you know, things that would make me cry or make me be angry, all that range of the grief. And I realized I was really, there was an element of grief. It was kind of going back and connecting with our, our clients and people we help mm -hmm. of how unpredictable it is, but how real mm -hmm. and how much it meant to have people around that could understand and give me that grace mm -hmm. to get me through it, which is where that team comes back, right. where right. people that have seen it and know it, you know, are able to respond in a way that is understanding and yet, you know, getting you through that process. Right. Because yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. that's everybody. I mean, at yeah. the end of the day, we've all there's no there's no journey except through well, it. Through right. It. So like, just remember as you're processing your own feelings yes. and feeling overwhelmed, maybe feeling fearful, feeling lonely, or feeling 
angry even or sad. just sad and processing your own grief, you're not alone. You have other team members who have been through these journeys, even their own personal, mm -hmm. as well as helping others that can come alongside and say, you know, you're doing great. Here's what you need to do next. Mm -hmm.